Uh, my name is Ben Lavender and I work as a production engineer at JJ Churchills. Uh, my role within the company is to create parts from a drawing and progress them through the development phases to an actual part. Get the parts from sort of the design phase and help it progress through the different stages and get it to a machine part on the shop floor. So going from um, theory to a practical piece of material we can use. What we will do is we'll get a part drawing, uh, we'll go through the process of what we need to do to make it, what processes, any fixtures, uh, programming design, uh, the whole lot. So there's quite a lot of work goes into it pre-planning wise and then once we've done that it'll go onto the shop floor and we'll start uh, proving out our processes to make the components. Uh, I think the best thing about working here is being able to see a component come from a drawing and actually have a part you can hold in your hand at the end of the day. So you can see all the work you've put in has uh, come to the final product. Uh, yeah, I work as part of a cross-functional team, so I'll talk with people from different areas to get the information we need to get the projects uh, put through the company. So I work as part of the compressors team, so I work in a team of three, and we all work off each other to get the projects completed. Uh, I think it's known you've had an impact in getting that part from where it was to actually a finished part, so you've had an input in some way to generate that part, and it's quite a good feeling knowing that you've had a role in producing that. What I've noticed since working here is there's a lot more going into the additive manufacture and 3D printing, so we've started looking into that here, whether it's on fixtures or getting um, hands-on with parts that we wouldn't normally do, so if we wanted a prototype of a component to see if it would work in our fixturing, uh, we could print that off and uh, do work we wouldn't be able to do previously until we'd produce the part from solid. This role, like I say, it's very varied. It's not likely for you to do the same things day in, day out, so you can gain a lot of experience and knowledge by being in a role like a production engineer, because there's multiple aspects you have to cover in order to get the projects through. First started at school by doing my design and technology, and it was started with woodwork, which got me interested in work with my hands, and that uh, progressed from leaving school to starting my level three at a nearby college for further education. So I performed my level three, and that, that led to me getting my apprenticeship here. So once I got that, it was a four year apprenticeship where I'd be training off site and having work experience here the first couple of years, and then moved on to finishing that, doing my HNC afterwards, and then progressing from the shop floor into the office environment. So that was the step up for me. It's always a progressing subject engineering as it's never stationary. Uh, I'd say tips for people getting on in the industry is to constantly develop, set goals you want to achieve and um, work to them and then once you've set them, uh, create new goals and work to them as well.